After a hack to the original SILV token, it's finally back, and they called it SILV2. What is the SILV token, you ask? In this video, I'll go over why it exists, its utility, how you can get it, and why this could be a great opportunity for you. My name is Najif, and I'm a professional ranger. Like all of you, I crash landed here in Alluvium with nothing. Join me on my journey as I capture and train Alluvials as I battle my way to the top. You're watching Najaf Plays Journey Through Alluvium. Keep in mind this is not financial advice and I wouldn't recommend investing more than you can afford to lose. The intent of this video is to explore the opportunity so you can make your own informed decision. As you should know by now, SILV2 is out. How can you take advantage and is it a good buying opportunity? So what is SILV2? Well, it's a synthetic ILV token. It's also called escrowed alluvium. You can see right here, we have SILV. This is the old contract. So just make sure you're looking for SILV2, like right down here, if you're gonna be making a purchase. So what is it? It can be used as an in-game currency for things such as travel, and shard curing, but not for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. It's earned by staking ILV into the protocol and it's pegged to the value of ILV in-game. But since this is also an ERC-20, it can be purchased outside of the game, which has a different value. And we'll get into why that is. So checking the SILV price, or really I should have had SILV2 in here. I'm gonna have a link down below for DexTools.io that will bring up this chart. And this is just gonna be an easy way for you to check the price. Um, when you go to purchase it, you're gonna be purchasing it with Ethereum, but you can check the price in, in US dollars because obviously that helps you determine its value. So if SILV2 has the same value as ILV within the game, why is it at a discount? Well, well let's start by saying that the, the SILV2 and ETH liquidity pools are not official liquidity pools by Alluvium. And what some people are doing, mostly you know whales who have a lot of liquidity, they're staking their ILV and ETH into the sushi liquidity pool, which is giving them an APY of over 400% right now. So you have two ways to claim those rewards. You can claim them in the regular ILV token, but that's gonna lock up the token for a year. Or you can claim it in the, the SILV2 token and have access to that token immediately. So what a lot of people are doing is they're, they're taking the rewards in SILV SILV or soon to be SILV2 once V2 of staking comes out and they're selling that on the open market a lot for profit but some are using that liquidity to buy back into ILV and Ethereum and plan to stake more into the sushi liquidity pool essentially just compounding how much they have in the liquidity pool and how much rewards they're getting from it so that's why you can get SILV2 at such a good discount right now and this is just a screenshot of the the staking V1 basically you have your pending rewards here if you claim it into ILV It'll go into this pool, but it'll be locked for a year. If you claim it in SILV or SILV2, it'll come into this category, which is basically what's free to use and liquid in your wallet. If you could do me a big favor and just click the like button, and if you plan on purchasing some SILV2, let me know down below how you're going to use it. So what's the utility of SILV2? Well, as mentioned, it's pegged to the price of the ILV in-game, and it can be used to purchase many things. Aluvatars, here are some examples here. Land, which a land sale should be coming out soon. Fuel and shards, which will be used for travel and to catch these alluvials in the game. Now, it's important to note that SILV2 cannot be used for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, and the only way to get alluvials other than catching them yourself is to buy them from another person. So if you are looking to buy alluvials on the market, it, you're going to be using Ethereum to make those purchases. So a quick comparison to Fancy Birds. Now Fancy Birds is getting a lot of guidance from Kieran Warwick from Alluvium and their tokenomics for the FNC token is very similar to Alluvium and the game recently came out. So we can use this as a good comparison. So like I said, it's similar tokenomics. They have an FNC token, which will be just like the ILV, and they have a synthetic FNC token, which will be like, like this SILV2. At the time of recording this, the FNC token is 24 cents, and you can buy the SFNC token in the free market for 17 cents. Now, like I said, the game already came out. So this SFNC token is at about a 29% discount. Now we can't see what the difference between the FNC and SFNC before the game came out because you could only claim in SFNC 
once the game came out. So we can't see what the difference is pre-game to the game being launched. But we can see that now that the game is launched, it's at about a 29% discount. So let's see what the discount is for SILV2. And is it a great buying opportunity? Currently, SILV2 is sitting at about a 58% discount to the ILV token. Now, as we just saw with FNC, it's at a 29%. So just looking at that alone, you're likely to see some price appreciation just with the launch of the game compared to the ILV token. Now, ILV right now is sitting at about a 73% discount from its all-time high. So when you put that together, SILV2 is currently sitting at an 88% discount from the in-game value of ILV at its all-time high. So if the ILV token just went back to about its all-time high, you could be buying an SILV token right now for $220 that could give you around $2,000 of in-game purchasing power in the future. And that's just if the ILV token gets back to its all-time high. There are a lot of predictions out there of it going two, three, to even five X beyond its all time high. So again, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but just doing a little bit of math for you. Now, how are you gonna go about getting this SILV token if you want? Again, this is not an official pool from Alluvium, but you can buy it off the free market. So you would be purchasing the SILV with Ethereum using your MetaMask wallet. Now, the cheapest way to probably do this is to onboard your fiat currency to a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance and buy the Ethereum there and then send that Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet. This is the contract address for the SILV2. I'll have this in the description below. Once you have the Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet, you're gonna go to Uniswap. In Uniswap, you're gonna have this screen pulled up and you're gonna need to put this contract address into the select token slot and it's gonna bring up SILV2. You wanna make sure that it's not saying just SILV, so that it has SILV2 and it says escrowed alluvium too. Now where I have USDT here, you can select that to see the price in US dollars, but when you're ready to make an exchange, you are gonna change this to Ethereum. It'll show your balance of Ethereum here, and then when you're ready, you're gonna click purchase, which is gonna be this button down here. It's gonna bring up your wallet, and you will have to pay an Ethereum gas fee. I took a couple of screenshots and it estimated around $17. That's actually fairly low for a lot of Ethereum gas prices, and that can easily get up to 50, 70, over $100 or even more. So I'd say if you see a gas fee this cheap, it might not be a bad time to make that purchase. As you can see, SILV2 does deserve some attention. I'm a long-term believer in this project. So I'm gonna be picking up some SILV2 to use on land, Aluvatars, scholarship programs, and just to play myself. And I'll keep you updated on how I use this SILV2 and the returns it helps me get. So click that subscribe button and join me on my journey through Alluvium. Make sure you click that subscribe button and check out this video I've highlighted here if you haven't seen it already. I highly recommend it. I'm also on Instagram, posting more content about Alluvium, Fancy Birds, Axie Infinity, and more. So go give that a follow. You can find all these links below, including my Linktree link. If you're interested in Drip or just another way you can support the channel, then use my link to join my downline. Thanks again.